Hey guys, we are on the road again. Hard to believe, I know, but now we are driving to Texas. We're gonna spend a couple weeks hanging out with Dana's family, but on the way, we are gonna stop in Nashville and have lunch with someone who is a friend of mine and Dana's, who, and together we'll tell the story with him of how Dana and I met and how we started dating and all our whole story, because the guy we're gonna meet with is uh, mostly responsible for that. Hey guys, my name's Tim, and this is my wife, Dana. Together we have two kids, our super cute daughter, Hannah, and our little guy, Zeke. We've been married since 2006, and this is a video about our life. We're in Nashville. There's Nashville. Do you guys live around here? I actually uh, lived uh, in Brentwood, which is right outside Nashville, for, um, for a summer while I was doing my college internship with the guy that we're gonna go meet. Uh, his name's Bill Scott, and he's done a lot of uh, radio stuff. And I actually interned with uh, a radio show that he was working with, uh, or his radio show at the time called C-Jam. And uh, he's also done stuff with like Dawson McAllister and uh, Sound of Light. So if you've heard of any of those nationally syndicated radio shows, he's been the host on those. So, um, But while I was working at C-Jam is when I was working there. But my story with Dana goes through him way much further back than that. We're at Cracker Barrel, and this is the guy, his name's Bill Scott. Hello, Bill. Hello. And his wife. Hello, Janet. <laughs> and so here's the story. Back in the day, like 90, when was it that we were listening to Z Jam? 97, 96, 97. Okay. So. I would be listening to the radio station up in Pennsylvania, and Dana would listen to it up in, uh, in Texas, and we would be listening to this guy's radio show right there, Mr. Bill. That makes me feel really old, 97, <laughs> wow. And chat rooms were really big back then. Right. So, yeah. so it was, on their website, they had like state-of-the-art website, which was IRC if I remember correctly. It was. So we had to use like this, the chat client to just like log in and try to like just talk. So Dana was in there. And she was Texas star, and she actually got on the air with you once, and she won a free CD from you, like, because yeah. you're calling. And that's the first time I heard Dana's voice. I was like, oh, she sounds so Texan, you know? I had big fun of her accent then in the chat room, because I was JC Rules with a Z, of course, you know? And, uh, and so we would we would be talking in there, and I don't remember how we connected, but, oh. Hannah, you going potty? Bye-bye, <laughs> Hannah. I guess I'll have to finish the story on my own. <laughs> uh, so we started talking, and then we were both listening to Bill's show at the same time, and uh, then we started talking on AOL and Messenger. Do you remember that? Like that was a really long time ago. I knew, yeah, that I was C Jam Bill. Yeah, yeah. And I was just I think I was JC is cool. Just yeah, weird. But um, so then we just started. Dan and I started talking on AOL and Messenger as a result of you know connecting in the chat room on Bill's website and um, then we just lost touch for a little while and then uh, actually I knew she lived in Texas and I moved to Dallas to go to grad school and I didn't know anybody so I, I was like oh I haven't been to AOL's Messenger for a while so I hopped on and I saw Dana and she didn't remember who I was so I had to remind her yes, anyway our food's here so uh, hold on one second so I popped up on AOL and messenger to Dana and she didn't remember who I was. I reminded her she was working as a youth director at her church at that time and I was working as a youth pastor at my church and so we started talking about that and then we met in person and then we connected and then we dated for a year and a half. We broke up for eight months and then we got back together again and married, uh, engaged four months later and married three months after that. So it went really quick after that. But it's all because we met on the internet thanks to Bill. I am the godfather of dating. <laughs> So it was really cool. We were, Dan and I were like, oh, where are we going to? Because like, we're going to Texas. And we, just, we decided to look on the maps. And we were like, oh, we're going right through Nashville. So I text message Bill. It was like 10.30 or something last yep. night. And I, he's like one eye open just trying to like text, you know, because he's going to sleep. I was like, we're coming through. You want to meet for lunch tomorrow? And he texts back. He's like, yeah. <laughs> so here we are. And uh, um, Bill and I were just talking about how much technology has changed because when Bill was doing like radio stuff, he was like on the cutting edge of technology, which included like email Bible studies. I think yeah. we had like twenty some thousand yeah. like on the list. Yeah. And I was writing Bible studies for his list and the website. Uh, um, what was that? 
university chat room, like state-of-the-art technology. And he, Bill was going to conferences talking to teenagers and trying to explain right. to parents what email was and how to use email. And the parents were like, what is this? You know, so... And Bill's now even totally still using cutting edge technology, uh, but now he's still writing in the form of publishing. Yeah, you want to just plug it real quick? The day Satan called, don't read it at night. <laughs> so we're like, Bill just wrote an awesome book, and he even got like a not well, the, you got it on the, not under a movie contract, but like movie uh, studio. What I don't know. Yeah, they bought the rights for a movie. Yeah. Yeah. So they got the rights to that. If yeah. He wants to, or someone wants to publish his books as a movie. But anyway, um, you just want to plug it really super quick, and then we'll get the. Uh, yeah, you got to check it out. It's thedaysatancalled.com. It really is a great book on spiritual warfare. It's a YouTube channel, right? What's that? YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, YouTube channel, The Day Satan Called, and Twitter, Day Satan Called. Cool. It's a real story about some of Bill's experiences doing some stuff with radio and uh, just kind of demonic work, craft, witch, doc, doc, witch doctor. I'm talking Haiti terms now, but witch, witch um, stuff. And uh, so, and it's a real true story. So I'll link up to it below, both on Amazon and to his YouTube channel if you want to see more of the story and you kind of get a flavor for what it's all about. But that's uh, a lot, he's doing a lot now, a lot of traveling and speaking and doing stuff with the book. So, all right, time to eat. Dan and I didn't know this originally, uh, but apparently uh, Bill knows uh, Dave Ramsey and uh, uses radio studio for stuff. And he said that the, the Financial Peace University Plaza area was like only was like less than 10 minutes from where we just had uh, lunch at Cracker Barrel with him. So it's Saturday and there's no one there right now, but maybe when we come back through on our way back to Cincinnati in a couple of weeks, Dan and I want to try to stop at the Dave Ramsey thing. We actually, a lot of you guys maybe have saw our debt free screen video that we did a long time ago. I think it's like 20, 30,000 views or something like that. Um, so I'll link that up below for you as well if you want to go see it. But we actually tried calling Dave Ramsey when we became debt free because we were working through his plan and do all that stuff. But uh, he wasn't in the studio that that Friday we tried to call. So we just did our little video instead. We can maybe do our debt free video of Scream there, even though it's been a couple of years since we've been debt free. But uh, I don't know. But we're going to try to hit up the Dave Ramsey Financial Peace Plaza on our way back. Uh, that'll be a fun vlog, I'm sure. It's super bright out, and I left my sunglasses back at the uh, at our house, so I got to wear Dana's little sunglasses or glasses ones. But we are going to go over a pretty cool looking bridge. See the bridge in it on the water? You can hear that? Going into Arkansas. In the Mississippi River. So whenever we say, I'm the best shooter this side of the Mississippi. I guess this is the river they're talking about right here. Welcome to Arkansas. Are you winning? I'm trying to win a medal on this level. Good luck. What else do you got to do? <laughs> She had to be really bad, but I haven't found a good spot to stop yet. So, put on the, my sunglasses. And here we go. So, I've been having a lot of difficulty with YouTube and uploading my channel's video for this week. I thought I uploaded on Wednesday. It didn't work. Did it like twice again yesterday and then twice this morning. Still didn't work. So, Tim had the great idea that Greyhound has Wi Fi on their bus. So, I'm leaving some space in the car in front of me since we're in like stop and go traffic and Tim's trying to upload my video really quick for me. They have Wi-Fi. I'm connected to it. I think I just gotta like accept the terms of service. Now the trick is for me to be able to try to just stay side by side with him in the traffic. Of I don't want to get in front of him. Why not? I don't know. I want to have my space. Um. Better idea, stay right behind them. As long as I can stay close behind, but not too close. <laughs> it's working. Uh, see, I off of there's the Greyhound bus, and we're leeching off the Wi-Fi, uploading Dana's uh, little vlog to her channel. Um, so if you're ever stuck in traffic, get next to a Greyhound. You can leech. I don't know. It looks like it's 261 meg though. That's a pretty large file. I don't know if we're gonna upload that whole thing. Uh, by the time, but I mean, all depends on how long we just sit here and stand still traffic too. So, 
we'll see. Well, you guys will find out if you get it on our channel or not. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, it is... Uh, YouTube.com slash Dana Schmoyer. Good job, you remembered. Thank you, I know. I had to think about it. Hannah, did you make it to Grandma's house? Yay! You made it! I made it too. You can wash your hands. So we made it, and we're all super exhausted, super tired. It's like almost midnight, not really. But, uh, we made it though. That's wrong. Oh, yeah, that's not right. It says 10 to 30, but we get stuck in traffic for a while, as you guys know. But anyway, we're here. So, yay! Time to go to bed.